Hello everyone. My name is Tiffany. I'm the Tipsy Artist. Today we are painting this beautiful painting with an old-fashioned red barn. Let me get the light right there. Um, it's called Noel and it has an old-fashioned rustic barn with a super cute little snowman, festive wreath, and a Christmas tree. So we're going to have a lot of fun. We have made this very easy and fun for y'all with a traceable. And let me give you a little visual here too on what your canvas will look like when we start. So as you can see, this makes this very super fun and easy. All right, so we're gonna teach you step-by-step step how to do this. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch views so that you can follow me very closely and have a great bird's eye view here. All right, wonderful. Okay, so we have all of our supplies laid out. Got my paint nearby, extra paint over here water, brushes, our art. And by the way, the painting kit that has all the supplies for this is on our website. That's at tipsyartist.com. So we do all the shopping for you and get all the supplies and then we make it very easy for you just to have it shipped right to your door. All right, so I went ahead and traced ahead, did the permanent marker, lined it all out. And I have a separate tutorial on that process as well to make that really easy. But we're gonna go ahead and get started with the painting now. So I'm gonna get started with my blue uh, background here. So I've got my mama brush. This is the biggest brush that we've got. And I'm gonna go ahead and just touch into a little bit of water, brush out the excess, do a little dab on the paper towel. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a nice little dollop here of the titanium white. Now I'm going to do a little tiny corner of the primary cyan blue. And we're going to mix these two together. This will give me a really pretty light blue for the sky. And you can make it a little darker if you want to, or just continue on with a little bit more of that even mix of more white. So I'm gonna go for more of that medium shade right in there and place that off to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and just push this back and forth now, nice horizontal strokes. Now what's nice about this, this will bleed through and then we'll have to go over it a little bit, but I'm gonna add a little bit of water. That way it maintains your trace. Again, a little bit of water here. See, you can see how it's just beautifully bleeding through there. When I add a little bit of water to the paint, it does make it flow with much greater ease onto the canvas, flows into all those porous areas of the canvas. And then I'm gonna feather out the brush strokes a little bit with a little bit of a cross stroke here. Kind of makes it look like I do little tiny X's back and forth. And just continue crisscrossing that back and forth there. I'm going to hold the brush a little bit more over to the side to get better coverage over the surface area. A bit more of a parallel to the canvas hold. That gives me a little bit more of a gentle hand, more paint resting on the surface. Now we have reached the snow. I'm 
All right, very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out, firm pressure, round and round and round. That helps release that paint. And then we're gonna go ahead and dry off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do some cloud cover. So I'm gonna take my little buddy brush, a little bit of pure white here. And I'm just gonna tap it out a little bit. And my clouds will change. Every time I do this painting, change just slightly. So there's not just one exact way that you have to adhere to the cloud formation. Just have fun with it, kind of tap it out. So kind of tapping on the side of the brush. And then as I get out to the end, I kind of do a slight little taper. Do some more over here. Very therapeutic part of the process, just lots of little tap, tap, taps. A few more here. Just adding a bit more texture now, more of a bright, bright white. That's just achieved with more layers. Have a few little clouds kind of peek through here. All right, beautiful clouds, I love it. We're gonna go ahead and rinse out and then dry off. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on some of these details with the, what do I wanna do next? Hmm, let's do the red barn. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some of this We've got some cadmium red, but I want to cool it off a little bit and get some primary magenta with that. So I've got that mix over here. Grab a little bit of water. And these sections here, I can just paint right through that because that's gonna be blackened. 
I've got my mama brush here. sure and get that little hole in there behind the wreath. You have a little bit of overpaint on that wreath, not even a big deal because we're going to pounce in over the top of that. I am careful around the snowman though. That's a little bit more critical there. Alright, so there's a bright red bar. Now we can make it a little bit more of a brick red. And grab a little touch of the black to put into that red. Definitely pre-mix that because you see how dark that got so very quickly. So I'm going to add a lot more red to it. A little bit of red, or I'm sorry, a little bit of black rather goes a very long way. Now we're back to brick red. I'm going to pull down some strokes of that brick red in there. A little overpaint of that. So again, just still working in that brick red layer. And we still have a little bit more of this brick red over here. All right, that looks great. Let's go ahead and rinse out now. Dry off. Oops, got a bit more red on there. And let's grab little buddy again. And this time we're going to be using some green. Do a dollop of green, little tiny corner touch of the black. You can also add a little tiny touch of the white too. It's going to help it cover really great on there. We're going to start to work into the wreath and the tree. So you can do that tap, tap, tap on the wreath.
grab some more nice big dollop of green cadmium green tiny corner of the black and then little dollop of the white Lots of fun texture, just lots of very therapeutic tap, tap, tapping. Lovely. All right, let's go ahead and start on this lovely Christmas tree here. And pull down. Yeah, did a nice little firm bit of pressure on there to get it thinned out on the edge. Start from the top and just kind of pull down into little slight diagonal pulls off to the side. So kind of down and out to the side. Grab more paint, just kind of lightly laying it on the side of the brush, getting a little bit more texture over the top. All right, that's a great start. We're going to rinse out now. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do some snow. So I've got little buddy again, big dollop of the white, super tiny touch of the black, amazingly tiny. <laughs> we just went a very, very light gray, barely detectable. We're gonna go ahead and work that into the snowman. Now, on this guy right here, that's it for a minute, take a little bit. Then we're gonna get a little bit of some dark charcoal mixed up. So I've got my little bit brush, white, tiny touch of the black. We're gonna make a darker charcoal gray. Do a little twirl into the paint. See how I twist it between my fingertips. All right, and then we're going to make a little line around this snowman here. Let's darken that up a little bit more. Nice little pencil hold. All I mean by that is it's the same way you'd hold a pencil. Okay. 
And then let's go ahead and go over all these lines that define the snow. So we're going to come right up next to the barn here. And have a few more little lines through the snow. All right, rinsing out a little bit and just grabbing some pure white and we're going to go a little bit of a slight overpaint over that gray line that we just did so it kind of softens that transition so it's not just one hard line so we have a little bit of a soft fade between the two get a little bit more water and have really light light being a little closer see a lot of water here so it's like a very light white wash that I'm going to do over the face because this will bleed through but I still want to keep it very very light And then when that sets up and dries, then we'll go back over the black detail, but that's looking really good. All right, I'm gonna rinse out, dry off. Now we're gonna come back in with our mama brush, a little bit of water, a little bit of white. We're gonna work into this snow. And that gray paint is still nice and wet, so it has a nice soft blend back and forth in between the white and the gray. Just nice horizontal strokes, real easy. All right, now I'm gonna come back in with a little bit more of that darker charcoal color. A bit of a firm press into the paint so that my edge here at the base is more thin. And kind of bring that in. And again, underneath the barn here. All right, very nice. Now we're gonna go back over the tree a little bit to have it come back out to the front again. We have a little bit of whitewash coming in over the top and we need to make sure that that tree definitely looks like it's coming into the foreground so we cleaned off our mama brush we're going to go back into that lovely green that we mixed in a little bit of water now and this is green white and a tiny little corner touch of the black so mostly green tiny touch of the white and even tinier touch of the black Start here at the top, 
using that nice thin edge there on the end of the mama brush. Kind of bring that back down in front of the snow. So that's looking a lot more natural. Doing a little clean up here. And my little buddy brush, by the way, is super old. <laughs> so <laughs> yours won't look like that. Um, yours will look a little bit more like that. Yes, that's much better, isn't it? I'm gonna rinse this out again. And sometimes you have to wipe off the excess paint, go back in for another bath, and then dry off again. Right. Let's grab our little bit brush, little touch of the titanium white. And we're going to just kind of do a few little strokes here of that. And they go down to a diagonal, light little touch right over the top, a little bit of a soft curve to that. And if it's a little bit more white than what you want, you can always come back in again with more green too. We're just going to go side to side. And what I said earlier about putting in a little bit more of another color, so you can come back in with some green softly blend in some of that as you go, kind of do a little back and forth. Looks like I'm going to have to do a part two to this class. I have to answer a customer at my door. So we'll be back for part two.